if you are looking into the tool that can supercharge your development, then you're in the right place because today we are going to talk about Rinser of AI. Hey guys, my name is Watt and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for you watching my videos. This video will be really cool if you're a developer or you just started development. It's really great tools that I want you to know about. The name of the tool is Windsurf AI. This is not just another code editor. It is AI first integrated development environment that designed to make you faster and better developer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use this AI tool. If you are ready, then let's get started. So what exactly is Windsurf AI? At its core, it is an IDE. Think of it like VS Code, but with artificial intelligence back right into the DNA. It is like intelligent coding partner that understand your project context, help you write code, refactor, debug, and so on. It's designed to reduce the boring part, uh, for instance, repetitive task, uh, and lets you focus on something creative and problem solving parts. It contains function, they call it cascade. Basically, it's an agent that understands your project and can generate, run, debug code across files. It could suggest and run commands inside the terminal and basically do wipe coding. All you need, just control the result and make sure that the result the way you expect. Under the hood, the Windsurf allows you to preview the application and also could help you with deployment. And in this video, I'm going to show you the coolest part of Windsurf. Windsurf is cross-platform. It's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows, so everyone can use it. The basic functionality is available for free, so in this tutorial, I'm going to use the basic functionality, but it also has paid plans like a pro $15 a month, teams $30 a month, and enterprise $60 a month. I would definitely suggest you try the free version first, and if you will satisfy it, then you can subscribe to the premium. Okay, to get started with WinSurf, uh, click the download button at the top right corner and then download the WinSurf to your computer. I'm going to use Terminal and recommend you do the same because it's just easier and simpler. Simply follow the instruction on the website. Just use these three commands one by one and everything should work from first attempt. I will leave the link to the tutorial on my website in case you need the copy and paste commands. Let me speed up video a little bit. Once the setup is completed, simply write WinSurf and press enter. Then you will see WinSurf ID on your screen. After that, click and get started. And then you can import your settings from VS Code if you have one installed on your computer. Or you can start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch. Windsurf allows you to select the key binding. For example, you can select VS Code style or Vim style. Then you can select the theme. I am select this dark theme. And the last step, you have to sign in. And to do that, you have to create Windsurf account. Click on the sign up button and create your account. And then you're good to go. In this screen, you can open your existed project or you can create new one. As I've mentioned earlier, Cascade is a NAI agent similar to VS Code agent. And today we are going to use Cascade to create our first application with WinSurf. As you might notice, the interface is, looks exactly the same as a VS Code. The only difference is in the right sidebar, there is an agent from WinSurf. So as you could see, there is a two buttons, right and chat. The chat is an interactive conversational mode where you can ask the AI different questions. The right is a basically agent mode that could create for us all the files, write the, all the codes, and uh, suggest the commands that we have to execute. There are also different models available in WinSurf. This tutorial, we are going to use SWE, free limited time, and SWE, one light. You also have few credits for premium models like Cloud Sonnet or Gemini. But in this tutorial, we are going to use SWE one. These are WinSurf uh, models, mainly designed to do software engineer tasks. WinSurf said that uh, the performance of the model is similar to Cloud 3.5 level. And what I've noticed, it's actually pretty good. For my simple tasks, seems it does the job. Okay, let's go back to WinSurf 
and let's try to create something. I'm going to use write mode and SWE first model. Near the input field, you will see additional buttons. Buttons could be useful if you want to, for example, reference to search or to any specific documentations, even upload the image of your future application. So this functionality is optional. So if you want to use it, you can but you don't have to. Below the prompt input field, you will see there is additional three buttons. One is deploy, another is a preview, and the third one, and the third one is MCP servers. We will skip it for now, and we will come back later to it. Okay, I'm going to ask Winsurf AI to create for me to-do application using Python and Django framework. All you need, simply write the prompt and follow the instructions from Winserve. Time to time, it will ask you to permission to run the certain commands. Simply click accept and Winserve will continue to do the job. The agent will explain you each steps so you will know what agent is doing. Keep in mind that if you are using free version, the agent could stack because rate limit it means that maybe you need to wait longer or rerun the command or ask Winserve to continue from the previous step. Okay, since my application is ready, it took around uh, 20 minutes. Now we are creating login and password. And let's try to run the application. Winserve already suggested me the command to run the server. Let's try to open our application and see what we've got. And to be honest, my first impression was wow. Compared to the VS Code agent, the difference was like heaven and earth. This application looked really, really cool. Yes, it took longer, but the result is amazing. Okay, let's try to log in and check the functionality. Okay, seems something doesn't work. Let's copy the error message and paste it into the chat and ask Winserve to fix it. Okay, after a couple of iteration, it's fixed the issue and let's continue to explore the application. And this is my to-do application. I was quite surprised from the quality that I've got because the web application looks really good. Probably because the agent failed one time when I built the application. That's why it contains some issues. But the good thing is you always can copy the error message, pass it into the agent and it will fix it for you. For instance, some functionality in my to-do application doesn't work, so let's copy the error, paste it into the agent, and ask the agent to fix it for us. And after a couple of minutes, the fix is ready. Let's test it, and seems now everything is working fine. So as you can see, I have the calendar here, and I can save my to-do. Looks really good. I can preview the task, I can edit the task, and I can delete it. And of course, I can mark it as a complete. So by using natural language and really, really simple prompt, I get this kind of application. Try to imagine what kind of things it could create for you if you give better prompt and if you have paid plan. And as I mentioned earlier, it's not only the things that Winserve can do. If you don't want to use agent mode, you can do many things via chat. You can fix the issues, you can uh, reference to the search and different documentation. It could help you create specific functions or fix specific styling. It don't have to be full application, it can be part of the code for your existing application. All you need, just turn on the chat mode, explain your problem or things you want to do, and then follow the instructions or suggestions from the AI. And as I mentioned, sometimes you can reference to different tools or services that are available in WinServe, or you even can connect MCP servers that could empower your functionality even further. Once you will be ready to deploy, you can click the deploy icon and WinServe will suggest you and give you step-by-step -step instructions how you can deploy it. It will basically can create for you necessary files that you can use to deploy it to the different servers. And if there is an API connection between that server that you are going to use, you can do it directly through WinServe. Simply just follow the instruction that WinServe provides. If you want to have a separate video about deployment part, please let me know in comments below. And if I have a lot of requests, I will create one. And that's it. And as you can see, compared to my previous video about VS Code agent, WinServe AI is doing a really, really different job. So I suggest you give it a shot 
and share with me your feedback in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. You can still click like, but share with me your feedback in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel to don't miss my other useful videos. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.